Hare Krishna. So this is called a japa mala. Japa means to chant quietly, and mala means a garland. So this is a garland of bees that we should chant on quietly. Now it's a lot of traditions, spiritual traditions, use um, similar objects, like for example, including Christianity, they have their rosary that they uh, channel. So this Japa Mala consists of 108 beads. Actually, it's 109 beads, but we only channel on um, 108 beads. 108 is considered a, a auspicious number. Um, and in this particular case, there are many mantras, um, but in this particular case, we chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. So the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is as follows. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So on our Japa Mala, we chant on the first beat. We chant the whole uh, Maha Mantra. And then we move to the second B. And in this way, we chant 108 times. And when we chant 108 times, that's known as um, one round, one round. This, this way, we could keep track of how, mu how um, much meditation we do. Um, or if we want to set goals of how much we want to um, um, achieve. So it's a um, good way to keep count also. We also have what is called the a Japamala bee bag, where you can protect your bees and channel them. Um, so it's like this as such. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So you can look on your uh, on the internet um, of how to purchase Japamala beads, how to purchase bee beds, and how to chant properly um, also, or go to your local Krishna temple. So the question is, is that we know what we should chant. We know where we should chant. We know when we should chant. But do we ask ourselves why we should chant or why we should do anything? Now, the first question, what we should chant, in this particular case, the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Where should we chant? Ideally, in a quiet space in nature, etc., so as not to disturb um, others. When should we chant? Ideally, before sunrise in a period known as Brahma Mahorta, which means essentially before sunrise, usually around 4 a.m., 4.30 a.m., 5 a.m. But of course, we have to be practical depending on what type of um, activities and obligations we have to meet. We probably need more extra rest than other times. So, of course, it could be chanted at any time, but ideally, why do we say before sunrise? Is because any meditation, any spiritual activity is best done before the activities of the day are uh, um, get going because we won't, um, there'll be less distractions, essentially. So the final question is, why should we chant? Now, if we don't ask this question, um, then we may potentially um, give up any spiritual practice if we don't continue to ask why we do what we do, because unlike other forms of chanting, like singing, coming together with people, with musical instruments, beautiful melodies, beautiful singing, happy people, togetherness, Japa Mala, on the other hand, is it's an individual practice, and it could be probably a potentially monotonous and descend into being boring so eventually we give it up unless we ask ourselves why am i doing what am i doing so i can't speak for others but i can speak for myself one reason among many reasons of why i continue to chant may be explained as follows in the following analogy just as criminals who escape from prison will cause problems for all of human society so when our bad qualities escape from us through our words and our actions they cause problems for us and potentially for others. How does the government subdue criminals? With security guards. So it's described that a wise person subdues pride with humility, envy with appreciation, and vengeance with forgiveness. So there's a nice quote by Lao Tzu, and he says, watch your thoughts, they become words. Watch your words, they become actions. 
Watch your actions. They become habits. Watch your habits. They become your character. Watch your character. It becomes your destiny. There's also another nice one that says, we first make our habits and then our habits make us. So this Japa Mala is also to the, meant to develop a good habit to subdue our bad qualities. Now, how often should we chant? Um, well, the question is, this question can be answered with another question. How often should criminals be subdued? Some of the time, most of the time, or all of the time. Have you ever seen anyone um, say, let the hardcore criminals out of prison. It's Christmas, it's Thanksgiving. Let them see their family to finish them off. No, criminals should be subdued, not some of the time, not most of the time, but all of the time. So this is why we try to chant at least some of the time or most of the time, but ideally all of the time. So our three primary books of knowledge or scriptures elaborating on this subject matter and many other subject matters are known as Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, and Chaitanya Charitamrita, all translated and elaborately commentated on by A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, also known as Srila Prabhupada the founder and spiritual guide of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. So the Bhagavad Gita says, Yeme matam idam nityam anotishtanti manavaha shradavanso anasuyanto muchyante te apikama bihi. It says that we should read the Bhagavad Gita not some of the time, not most of the time, but nityam all of the time. And this is from chapter 3, verse 31. Similarly, the Srimad Bhagavatam says, Nashta Prayeshu Abhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhaktir Bhavati Naishiki. It says we should read the Srimad Bhagavatam not some of the time, not most of the time, but Nityam all of the time. And this is from the first volume or cancel. Chapter 2, verse 18. Similarly, the Chaitanya Charitamrita says, Chaitanya Charitamrita Nitya Kadapan Yaha Haite Primananda Bhakti Tattva Gyan. It says we should read the Chaitanya Charitamrita not some of the time, not most of the time, but Nitya all of the time. And this is from the Chaitanya Charitamrita Anshalila. Chapter 5, verse 89. So we have to be practical. We can't always chant or read spiritual subject matters most of the time. But we can probably do it most of the time or even some of the time. But the one thing we want to avoid is not doing it any of the time. Why? Because as previously mentioned, when criminals escape from prison, they'll cause problems for all of human society. So the purpose of us chanting and reading so we can subdue our bad qualities. Otherwise, it will cause problems for us and potentially for others. So um, this is one reason why we, why we chant Japa Mala and do other spiritual activities, especially reading also. So thank you. Hare Krishna.